world's highest paid female athletes 2023. With Serena Williams retired and Naomi Osaka sidelined for the year as she recovered from injuries and then childbirth, the list of the world's highest paid female athletes has a new number one, 22-year-old Polish tennis star Iga Swiatek, who made an estimated $23.9 million in 2023, before taxes and agents fees. Since Forbes introduced the ranking in 2008, Maria Sharapova is the only other woman beyond Williams and Osaka to have claimed the crown, reigning for eight straight years until Williams took over in 2016. Swiatek's monster year included the women's singles title at the French Open, plus four new endorsement deals, but it's also no coincidence that she like Osaka, Williams, and Sharapova before her plays tennis. 12 of the world's 20 highest paid female athletes, and 9 of the top 10, come from the sport, which offers sizable prize money and ample marketing opportunities for female athletes. Golf and soccer each have two athletes represented in this year's top 20, with badminton, basketball, gymnastics and freestyle skiing rounding out the list with one athlete apiece. Combined, the 20 top earning women made an estimated $226 million in 2023. That is a 13% drop from 2022's $258 million, but the decline can be attributed almost entirely to the loss of Williams, who hauled in $41.3 million on last year's list, and Osaka's tumble to $15 million, from $51.1 million in 2022, amid her long layoff. In fact, there are plenty of reasons to view the 2023 ranking with optimism. The median for the top 20 is now $8.5 million, up from $7.3 million last year, and 16 of the 20 list members are under 30, suggesting they could have more earning potential. There are also 8 athletes surpassing $10 million, matching last year's record total and double the number from 2021. As a whole, women's sports continue to thrive this year, with the National Women's Soccer League and International Soccer posting new attendance highs, the WNBA announcing its first expansion team since 2008 and the LPGA Tour promising to push its total prize fund past $118 million, up from roughly $70 million in 2021. Despite that momentum, however, female athletes pay still lags well behind the men's. The top 20 male athletes in Forbes 2023 ranking, published in May, totaled $1.90 billion more than eight times what the top 20 women earned and the difference gets even starker from there. During the 2023-24 season, 60 NBA players will outturn Swiatek with their playing salaries alone, according to Spotrac. Historically, tennis has had a narrower pay gap than other sports, and the WTA Tour committed in June to evening the purses at its biggest tournaments. The four Grand Slam events have all had equal prize money for men and women since 2007. But that transition is expected to take a decade, and players have recently spoken out on other issues including playing conditions, tournament operations, and maternity coverage. We're the highest paid female athletes, and it's a huge global sport, but at the same time, the pay gap is still very big, Jessica Pecula, a member of the WTA Players Council and number 7 in the earnings ranking with $12.5 million, told Forbes this fall. We always talk about how it's equal at slams, but those are four tournaments a year it's not equal at a lot of the other tournaments. Fundamentally, the discrepancy comes down to revenue women's leagues are paying out of a much smaller pot. For instance, WNBA Commissioner Kathy Engelbert has said the league will seek more than $100 million a year in its next media rights deal, starting in 2026. The NBA, by contrast, brings in more than $3 billion a season from its US and international rights and is expected to double that number in its next round of contracts, which would begin in 2025. 